I'm going to play a little bit of this clip from David Pakman about DeSantis, and then we'll talk. Everyone knows if I'm the nominee, I will beat Biden, uh, and I will serve two terms, and I will be able to uh, destroy leftism in this country and leave woke ideology on the dustbin of history. This is extraordinarily dangerous, what he is saying. The leftism that DeSantis says he will destroy is increasingly what Americans believe. When you ask Americans their views on what we might consider issues of wokeness, right? Views on inclusivity, views on trans people, views on drag shows and book banning and race relations and these sorts of things. People, the country is coming out on the side of wokeness. And so DeSantis, maybe this would work in Florida. I mean, it, in a sense, it did because he won by 19, I believe it was in his reelection campaign to governor. The math isn't there for it working nationally. He says he's going to destroy the movement that is the foremost movement defending human rights right now. The Republican Party is not the party of defending human rights, economic justice, LGBT rights, uh, defending the climate, teaching kids critical thinking. I could go on and on. That's the movement DeSantis says he wants to destroy. So forget about I don't know that this will win him the primary. I don't think that this will win him a general election either. So people have been talking for a long time now about how DeSantis does not have the, for lack of a better word, charisma that Trump has. Trump gets up in front of the cult at a rally, says a whole bunch of dumb shit, and they eat it up. He'll sit there and talk about toilets and showers, and they'll just be like, ha he's so great. But when DeSantis gets up in front of people and gets flustered or does his bobblehead thing or argues with reporters, people rightfully on both sides make fun of him. We're all just waiting for him to unzip his skin and take off his really bad alien disguise. He doesn't understand syntax. But it's not just his mannerisms. The stuff that he bitches about really only works in his little bubble. I saw somebody else on here recently mention, I believe it was Care Bear, who said that a lot of the people in Florida have been hoodwinked by the Republican Party in, because they're afraid of communism. A lot of them, you know, they escaped Castro. They're really worried about communism. And since the Republicans keep labeling the, labeling the Democrats as communists, they keep voting for Republicans, while the Republicans are constantly stabbing them in the back. And this is one reason why the whole wokeness, woke, woke mind virus, woke ideology, that's why it works on them. They've kind of been bought into this Again, lack of a better phrase, Stockholm Syndrome of the Republican Party, where they feel like the Republican Party are now looking out for them and saving them from communism. But they're fucking not. But around the country, the things that people are trying to stupidly label as woke in a bad way, things like inclusivity, appreciating the LGBTQ, not demonizing people, not trying to ban books and squash education, not trying to resort to theocratic fascism, these are things that all of us, more or less, already embraced 20 years ago. We weren't having all these massive fights over books or rainbows on shirts 20 years ago. People didn't give a shit. But now that we are especially in end-stage capitalism, a lot of the higher-ups need to deflect and give people culture wars to occupy themselves. Oh, the top 1% in the country have everything you say? Look, a gay person! Get him! On a global scale, Ron DeSantis isn't able to do that. The reason all of his dumb, hateful shit works in Florida is because he surrounds himself with only friendly people and because his entire constituency is either hateful or hoodwinked. And as Pacman shows, on a global scale, nobody's buying that. He might have a few of the southern states go with him, but the places that were massive swing states in 2020 for Trump and Biden, it's not going to be that way for DeSantis. When you have people in Tennessee, people in South Carolina, People in North Carolina rebelling against the system because of these extreme anti-abortion and anti-LGBTQ laws. Places that are normally swing states are not even going to be close. That's my opinion. Because record numbers of people are coming out to say that this shit is wrong. Which is why the GOP is resorting to cheating. Look up more v. Harper in the Convention of States, because I'm out of time.